Assalamu alaikum guys, I hope you are in good health and wealth. In this video, I'm going to show you the mystery of ice. Our eye language often expresses what we fail to verbalize. It takes 7 seconds, you walk in, smile, shake hands, in those brief moments of non-verbal communication, experts say, most people form their first impression and what we don't express verbally, we communicate with the most powerful type of body language, our eyes. So try as we might to say what we feel they will give us away. The eyes, they never lie. Our eyes often reveal more about our thoughts and feelings than our words. They are the reason we maintain eye contact in interviews to exude confidence. Prolonged staring is a form of intimidation and shows dominance. Both examples are basic eye language most people are aware of and consciously control. So what can we learn about unconscious expressions from observing a person's eyes? When someone's lying, lying can require more concentration than usual. Some research suggests that people blink less when they are thinking harder. The autonomic nervous system ANS regulates body functions that occur without conscious control, involuntary actions. This system is divided into two branches, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Each can be described by a short general statement as follows. The sympathetic system is more active in a fight or flight situations and the parasympathetic system is more active in a rest and digest state. In other words, the sympathetic nervous system adjusts your body to deal with some kind of threat to your safety, whereas the parasympathetic nervous system adjusts your body to conserve energy and be efficient when resting, i.e. good sleep, good digestion, etc. Now, lying usually involves some level of tension or anxiety because you might be worried to a certain degree that the lie will be revealed. This tension subconsciously triggers the sympathetic nervous system which will cause certain effects throughout your body. Sympathetic stimulation to the eye will cause contraction of the radially oriented pupillary dilator muscle fibers in the iris and will result in mediuresis, dilation of the pupil. An opposite effect is achieved when the eye receives parasympathetic stimulation, i.e. when you are calmer, maybe after confessing the truth, and the pupil undergoes meiosis. Constriction Since lying is usually involves tension, and tension is associated with increased sympathetic activity, the pupil will dilate following sympathetic stimulation. When we lie, it takes more mental effort, more energy, and that energy causes our pupils to dilate ever so slightly. You can device they claim can catch someone in a flat-out fib just by looking at their eyes. Eye Detect uses a very precise infrared sensor, and they can measure pupil dilation down to a hundredth of a millimeter. We're asking questions of an individual. We can determine if they're being deceptive or truthful based on how much pupil dilation is occurring immediately after they answer the questions. So, after a long research and study, with the help of advanced technology, scientists discovered humans cannot control the size of their pupils. It is totally involuntary. Pupils dilate when humans lie. So, liars can manipulate their body language, but they cannot control their pupils. Their pupils give them away. However, 1400 years ago, the man living in a desert already knew this. Allahu Akbar. You know who was that man, right? Exactly, none other than our beloved Prophet Muhammad Now, some people will think this is impossible. 1400 years ago, there were no such technologies to identify or to study about this fact. Yes, I agree with you. That's 100% right. But for the Messenger of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the creator of this complex world, the creator of billions and zillions of universes, the creator of zillions and zillions of planets, the creator of millions of creatures, the creator of human beings. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he don't need any technology to discover this fact because he's the one who created us, created everything in this universe and everything in every other universes he created. He's the creator of all things. He knows everything about us. 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 1400 years ago in the Quran. In the Quran, he knows that which deceives the eyes and what the breasts conceal. Allahu Akbar. Other translations of this powerful ayah by Asad. For he is aware of the most stealthy glance and of all that the hearts would conceal. By Khattab, Allah even knows the sly glances of the eyes and whatever the hearts conceal. By Malik, Allah knows the virtue looks and the sacred thoughts. By Pikthal, he know the traitor of the eyes and that which the bosoms hide. By Yusuf Ali, Allah knows of the tricks that deceives with the eyes and all that hearts of men conceal. Today, we know that pupils betray the liars and give them away. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known that your pupils will betray you when you lie? Allahu Akbar. In the Quran, indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. So that's it guys. If you like this video, then destroy that like button and share this video to your friends and family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us deep understanding. Ameen. And as always, until next time, wa alaykum as -salam. Subscribe our Sense Islam YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video.